All right, thank you. I am with renowned marine life artist Wyland, changing the way people think about our environment continuously as uh, the message just keeps spreading further and further across the world. You remember all those beautiful life-size whales on the side of buildings. That was a start, and oh my goodness, there are so many different aspects to what you do, so I'm so glad we have enough time Thank to you, talk Linda. about this. Thank you, Linda. Good to see you. I want to paint you. That's yeah. a black canvas. This was a black canvas, <laughs> you know, when I started. And uh, anyway, this is inspired by uh, one of my favorite artists, uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, very much has that uh, that look yeah that texture everything you know kind of impressionist style and you know I thought about you know what if Van Gogh painted underwater what might that look like so this is called the Starry Sea series and so I'll be doing a live painting demonstration at Wyland Galleries at Seaport Village this Sunday and everybody's invited how about that? So yeah. you can come out and see Wyland. I mean, just well, yeah. knowing that you were here today, a lot of people were very excited to know that you were here. Well, San Diego, I told ah. you, when I did that mural on the bank building mm -hmm. there, I mean, on Kettner, I mean, it was one of the favorite murals that I ever did. And the people of San Diego have always supported my art. And mine is not only about art, Linda, it's about conservation. Right. And you have a lot of messages to talk about this morning. But first, we'll want to do the Rembrandt Eye. You were telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready to see yes. that? Yes. What's the Rembrandt Eye? Okay. So. Uh, Rembrandt, another one of my favorite artists. You know, I've been a pure artist since I was like four years old. I've never had to get a real job. In fact, <laughs> my mom terrific. at 16 said, are you going to get a job? Your other three brothers have jobs in Detroit. And, and I said, I have a job. I'm an artist. <laughs> so, and she went for it. So try that. Thank All right, goodness, so here mom. is a big glob of black. Mm -hmm. And what happens is traditionally artists would paint all the details and light and the eyes. Van Gogh was smart. He, he's a minimalist. Uh, so he would take a big gob. You see that big gob? And he would just lay it in there. A big gob of black. Even more. Look at this. Just lay a big gob in there, and then the light would basically just hit that glob. Now, there's a real one there. And they say that you could pick up a Van Gogh painting by the eye. And what that meant is there's so much paint on there, but see how the light hits it? Yeah, so it's really sticking out a little. Yeah, it's sticking out really good. <laughs> and uh, there is an art to this, but right there is a Van Gogh eye. That is cool. So I'll be demonstrating, you know, I have a TV series on PBS mm -hmm. called Wyland's Art Studio where I teach people how to paint like this. Also and he also have has the this new book. book. Yeah, Don't Be a Starving Artist. Yeah, that there is, it is free to starving artists, right? It's free to every artist <laughs> in the world. If you're an artist, you don't want to be a bohemian, angry, starving artist. Yeah, take um, out the anger part of it. Yeah, exactly. Take all the anger <laughs> out. But this is the greatest time in history to be an artist because, you know, people are interested in art. And it's a good time to be a collector, so I hope to see all you guys at Wyland Galleries on uh, Sunday at Seaport Village. That's right, from 1 to 4 at Seaport Village. Now, we have so much more to talk about sure. because you're doing this uh, this big uh, challenge to mayors right. across the country and possibly then to the world, but yeah. first starting in the U.S. Yeah, it's really cool, and what we do is uh, we have the Wyland uh, National Mayor's Challenge for uh, conservation, for water conservation, and believe it or not, it's a national challenge, and San Diego, congratulations, Mayor, San Diego won the whole national challenge to get people to be water wise, to learn how you can conserve, protect, and respect our water. You know, and uh, it must have worked because this year we've got plenty of water. Maybe there's a luck element, but <laughs> there's no uh, luck involved in, in conserving and in trying to protect uh, the quality of water. And, you know, water is the most important issue of our day. So I'm glad to see that San Diego won. We bring it every April for the mm -hmm. entire month. So look for it. Go to, you know, uh, Wyland World Water Pledge or Wyland uh, National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation. Or okay. just go to my website and you'll find it. And it takes one minute to learn how you can conserve water and by conserving water you're saving water you're saving energy you're saving money you're saving the planet and those are all good things that we can all do so as much fun as you have doing all this you're always giving back yeah right? I realized early you know that uh, you know if you're gonna be successful and and you have something good to share you should and uh, it comes back tenfold yeah. It really does. My gosh, I, so many people are going to look forward to meeting you. There is the information Sunday, this Sunday. Yeah, please one come. One to four at Wyland Galleries in Seaport Village. Get out there. Come and see me. And uh, to all my collectors, keep collecting. I don't want to have to get a real job. <laughs> he likes doing what he's doing. <laughs> I do. And you're spreading the message. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Linda. I love, love it. Love you guys in San Diego. <laughs> see you at the uh, show. All right. We'll be right back.